hello guys welcome back to red hot tv today three injured as armed thugs attack pdp governorship candidates convoy at least three supporters of the people's democratic party in own those states were wounded on tuesday during an attack on the party's campaign team the attack occurred at ipele in the Owoluku government area of the state, when the convoy of the governorship candidate of the PDP, Eitayo Jegede, visited the area. Governor Rotimi Akerodolu, who is seeking re election under the All Progressives Congress platform, is from Owo, local government area. The attack comes a few days after the police threatened to jail anyone caught causing trouble in the states ahead of the election. Jagadeh's convoy was attacked a few weeks at Oba Akoko during a campaign tour. Confirming the attack, Samuel Fasua, spokesman for Ita Jagadeh campaign organization, said the armed thugs blocked the entry points of the community and started attacking some of the campaign vehicles in Jagadeh's convoy. He explained that three members of the party identified as Mr. Amuda Asikiru, Mr. Taye Akintu Fede, and Sheung Ugunlade were brutally injured during the attack by the armed thugs. He said these members were shot in the face and abdomen during a campaign rally in our town by the APC thugs, but we have rushed them to the hospital. Our campaign vehicles were damaged, as was witnessed in the Oba Akoko community recently, and one of them was completely burnt down. The armed thugs were later dispersed by a joint team of the security agencies. Tsilio Ikoro, spokesperson for the Ondo State Police Command, who also confirmed the attack, said the incident was currently being investigated. He disclosed that some persons linked to the attack had also been arrested by the police. However, Nigerians have reacted to this. Kaluchi Joki wrote, they, have, they always have money to fight for the election like it's war, but they can't feed the poor. A cost states end Nigeria and save lives. Prince Sunshine Bami said, I don't know why you people are trying to kill yourselves because of politicians when their family is doing well. Otumba Michael said, People will never learn. What is your business with these politicians? Why can't they bring their children to campaign for them? What if you die in the process of campaigning for them? Who will take care of your family? Paul Samson Baraya said, Let them hold their peace, please. All Nigerian youths are making good preparation to celebrate Nigeria at 60. They want to dagbaru everything. No go work. Okay? Tanimo Pius Williams said, The children of those who you are killing yourselves for are enjoying life in foreign country while you are here killing yourselves for them and for their fathers after they will still come back and oppress you. Most Nigerians are fools. Hmm. Mazinam Ma the Ede said, Nigerians are confused. Politicians' children are abroad, while others are being, other children are being used for sacrifice. Patrick Eluwa said, you are on your own when you fight for stupid politicians. I pray then key more of all these useless youths fighting for rubbish. Solomon the King said, You see us this Nigeria, they boil like hot water. Anybody weighing touch, no go remain the same. Either you die or you get injury. Okay. King Vin wrote, I pity those young men that always allow these heartless politicians 
to use them in perpetrating such acts. No politician is worth shedding blood for in this nation. Mohammed Jaber wrote, Political thuggery is complete wastage of time. Politicians are not after your life, health, or any of your social being. You are wasting your blood for nothing. Better stay away from it. Okay. Augustine Bowie wrote, How I wish they emulate Edo youth who shun violence against their people. Christian Eze said, Shame on anyone who still go about fighting for politicians. I, for one, can never do it again. I beg, make una get sense. Haba. <laughs> Mohammed Kwazim Abdulatif said, See where we find ourselves in this country. Can you imagine this rubbish? Election is now do or die in this country. Why Adebola Yunis Odusomia Yenis has her own words of advice saying their children are abroad living their best life. You are here killing yourselves because of peanuts and patry sums they offer you. When they assume office, you cannot go near them or their abode. You become a liability to your immediate family. Nathaniel Praise Agada said Politics of bitterness and hatred won't allow our democracy to grow, allow people to choose whomever they like and wants to lead them. It is not a do or die affair. It's quite unfortunate in Nigeria. DK Asibe wrote, Where are the PDP and APC candidates' children? Lazy youths as thugs and follow follow. Daniel Anyebu said, The Anti-Progressive Congress, APC, doing what they know best, violence and bloodshed. Obey from Freedom Sky said, Nigerians, stop killing yourselves for nothing, because it doesn't worth it. Wake up, my people, and ask for your future rights, not all these common peanuts. Ike Chukudoka said his own prompt and plain, saying, This country should be divided, period. Hmm. Harry Agasu wrote, he has some harsh words, saying, Fools, when would these foolish youths ever learn? Hmm. Yusuf Usman Suleiman wrote, Why can't you guys submit yourselves to your parents? At least they can use you guys for something lucrative, something lucrative like ritual, instead of you wasting your life for nothing and putting them into agony. <laughs> hey, God of Nazareth. Ogun for work on Lua Femi wrote, Sorry for their life. It's your and Akere Dolu we enjoy theirs when they are nowhere to be found. Ejire Atilade wrote, the incumbent governor is simply creating sympathy for more votes for the opposition in the states with these atrocities. Chile Maswe wrote, it's shameful the APC would resort to violence as cheap tactic to intimidate opposition. They obviously know that if the conduct is transparent and fair, PDP will make a clean sweep. Edo was an example. Hmm. All right. And then um, he said, Ice Vico Solis wrote, I don't know where to start commenting from self. Blood everywhere. Okay. We listen the roots. Imagine these morons. Shame on you. Shame on of you and i repeat again shame on you these politicians that you are stabbing yourselves for are well guided and their children are overseas if you die 
if they go straight to hellfire. Well, that's why we call it a rap. Nigerian youths are yet to learn. So, guys, if you have anything to say concerning this, drop your comments in the comment section. And don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Thank you very much.